Hello QPR fans and players TV home and away. Just uh, a recap for the QPR international break roundup for you from the three questions that I asked, I put to you fans out there um, pr prior to the England and obviously the other country games that have been happening in the last few days. Um, I apologise because obviously I should have done it, but I, I didn't realise there was um, some answers being put on the YouTube channel. Uh, so I apologise for that. So basically, these are the YouTube um, feedback questions I got for the three questions that I asked about. What do you think of the season so far? Who's your standout player so far? And what would you like to see for the rest of the season, including obviously when these international breaks on from the team overall for the for the rest of the season? So on YouTube, obviously I've got my old um, trusted book right in front of me here. On YouTube... We had uh, one, two, three, four people get back to me. So well done. Thank you very much. We appreciate that for your time for uh, getting back to us with some of your que uh, answers to the questions. So I'll start with Lewis Sargent. He's done eight out of ten start. And um, basically he's gone for Ryan Manning as a standout player so far this season for QPR. And obviously he said he'd like to see us tight and neating up at the back. Obviously, try and concede a few less goals. Um, Adam Brown has put exciting season so far. Um, he's done also Ryan Manning as a standout player for himself. Um, Gareth Williams, he's gone good start um, to the season. You know, obviously, you know, for his, uh, for his thoughts and that views. On, on the start to the season. Player-wise, he's actually gone for three. So he's been a bit greedy. <laughs> he's gone for Eze, Wells and Manning. Um, you know, for his standout players. And, um, you know, he hopes to see more clean sheets, obviously, or some at least. And the only negative he was, he thought was about Barbeck giving too many penalties away. I mean, obviously, it's just one of those things. Whether the, whether the opposing side see a weakness in him and aim towards him, or whether it's the player's um, ability and stuff, who knows? But obviously, it just seems to be him for some reason. Um, you know, I'm sure other players will give penalties away. Ryan Manning has done in the past, to name one. I'm sure there's more. Um, but that's the way it is, unfortunately. Um... You know, and where else is the uh, QPR chance has done good start to the season. Uh, his standout players have been Eze and Chair. And the only negative thing he was saying he preferred to see Lumley in goal rather than Kelly. Um, so that's that's the thoughts and views from the YouTube subscribers who subscribe to the channel on on the QPR round that international break. So thank you very much to Louis Sargent, Adam Brown, Gareth Williams, and to QPR Chance. Um, watch out for the for the whole game, which I've already put up, guys and girls. So feel free to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, plus the Facebook page as well, which I need to upload the stuff onto the Facebook channel as well. But just been busy doing the editing stuff, as there's been quite a few bits to put up. Um, but yes, uh, appreciate everyone giving their thoughts and views on the comments on all the stuff that I'm doing, the interviews, the match day vlogs, the Ars Bar Predictor Show, and any other QPR business. So keep it pilled, um, you know, and once again, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I am. It's a bit of a laugh. Um, and, you know, go from there. That's it for myself, DJ Ranger, for QPR fans and players, TV, home and away. I'm out of here. Come on, you Ars.